Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Kit and today is Monday, May 17th, 2021. Thank you guys for joining me today. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and staying safe and I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day last Sunday. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Kit. I live in the southwest suburbs of Chicago. I am married and my husband's name is Gary and we have two beautiful daughters, Madison who is 11 and Sage who is 7. I also work full time and this is a vlog style channel where I talk about all things crochet and knit and of course yarn. So I have lots of things to talk about today but before we get started into the yarny things, um, I want to tell you what happened yesterday. So last week I wanted to film on Mother's Day but didn't get a chance because it was really busy around here. We actually went to my mother-in-law's house to have brunch and we stayed there for a good three or four hours. So by the time we came back home it was getting late and I just really didn't have time to film. So I decided I was going to film yesterday. So before I, I gathered everything to film, you know, I had everything set up, but before I started filming I wanted to give my daughters haircuts because... Um, they hadn't had haircuts since before COVID hit, so their hair was getting really, really long. So I wanted Madison to go first because she has the longest um, and her hair is really thick. So I wanted to save a few bucks, so instead of taking them t to the uh, salon, I was going to do it myself. So Madison's in the bathroom, I'm getting her hair wet, and I'm combing it, and I, I parted it, you know, and I started cutting her hair, and about... 10 minutes later, she said, Mom, I don't feel good. So I noticed she started getting pale. So I said, okay, stand with your feet um, apart and then bend your knees a little and hold on to the front of the counter. So she did that and I was going. I was halfway done with her hair. And about two minutes later, she said, Mom, I don't feel good. So I looked at her again and she was getting more pale. So I was going to have her sit down, but before she was able to sit down, she passed out she fainted and on her way down her head hit the bathroom counter so I was in panic mode I didn't know what to do I just yelled for my husband to come get her and I couldn't catch her because I had a pair of scissors in one hand that were really sharp and then a comb in the other so I threw the comb I threw the scissors and I went to get her but it was already too late she was down on the floor so my husband came and uh, picked her up and stood her up right in front of the sink and she said I'm gonna be sick so she started vomiting all over so after she got everything out of her system my husband scooped her up and brought her upstairs to her bedroom later down and um, we decided it was probably best to take her to go see a doctor so her pediatrician's office isn't open on Sundays so I took her to the immediate care center which is literally like two minutes down the street so I took her there they examined her did a COVID test so it was not COVID and they wanted me to take her to the ER just so they can do um, lab work and everything so we went to the ER we were there about two hours and um, she started feeling better her color was coming back and um, there's nothing wrong with her uh, I think there's a name for it where when a child stands really still and there's not enough uh, circulation or oxygen going to the brain so um, it makes them faint or pass out and that's what happened I know there's a medical terminology for that I just can't think of it right now right off the top of my head but that's what happened and everything came back fine she's fine she stayed home from school today because I wanted her to rest up and um, yeah, she's doing so much better. And then once she started feeling better, I had to fix her hair because it was really choppy. I didn't get a chance to fix it, but it looks super cute now. So that was the fiasco that happened yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to film. But since I stayed home from work today to keep an eye on Madison, um, I have I definitely have time to film today. So anyways, let's get started with the podcast. Um, I have been really busy, as I mentioned before. But I did find time to watch a new show on Netflix. You guys have probably already heard of this, but it is called Shadow and Bone. And it's a Netflix original series, and I really like the show. There's only one season so far, and the season is based off of books written by Lee Bardugo. I believe that's how you say her name. So I watched the first season of the, the series, and I really liked it. So I decided I was going to listen to the books on audio. 
and I should have done it the other way. I should have listened to the audiobooks first before I watched the series. So I am on um, book one, Shadow and Bone, and it's getting really good so far. So if you guys like shows, like fantasy shows, Shadow and Bone is a good one. I really enjoyed it. And um, honestly, I feel like books are always better than the movie or the shows in my opinion so I always try to read the books first before I watch the show and honestly I didn't know um, Shadow and Bone was based off the book if I did I would have read the books first before I watched the show so that's what I've been doing and I definitely binge watch that I it only took me a day to finish the whole season so it was pretty good I liked it and I can't wait for season two which I think is going to be based off book two so I can't wait for that all right so I did a little shopping so one day after work last week, um, I went to Michael's again because I wanted to pick up some more of this Loops and Threads Impeccable. And the last time I went, I only picked up four skeins, I think. And I wanted to pick up a couple more because I wanted enough to make a sweater for myself with this color. So I picked up two more of these. And then while I was browsing the yarn aisle, I actually saw these on clearance for $2. Now this is the Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny. And this is uh, very comparable to Karen Simply Soft. And um, I'm not a big fan of Karen Simply Soft just for the fact that it does split. And when you weave in the ends, the ends don't stay woven in. But um, I'm planning on making uh, hats for Hat Not Hate with, with these and I bought three three of these so two dollars each and I will be starting hats for hat not hate with those so um, after Michael's I decided to stop at Joann's so um, Joann's I went to Joann's on Friday after work because I think I left at 10 a.m. around Friday if you guys don't know I start work at 4 a.m. every day and then on Friday, we got off early. I left at around 10, 1030. So I decided um, to hit Joann's before I came home. And I decided to go on a little shopping spree. So let me show you what I bought at Joann's. I was just browsing. And I didn't know what to get at first. So I had to check to see if I had coupons. So I used a $5 off a $35 order at Joann's and I bought some yarn. So let me show you what I bought. Now the first thing that I bought that was on clearance is this mandala cake. And this is in the colorway Pixie. So I bought two cakes of this colorway and it was on clearance for $3.97. And the other one just rolled away so I'll just show you this one. So there was another colorway, I can't remember what it was called and I really wanted it, but then I decided against it and I just picked up two of these. And then I have a couple bags here. I decided to pick up some of this yarn. This is the K and C element, and the K stands for knit, and the C stands for crochet, so knit and crochet element. And these are really nice and soft actually I've seen them there before but these were on sale for $2.99 and I wanted to pick up a couple because I think this yarn would make a really beautiful shawl because it's really light it's 90% cotton and 10% acrylic now this is a 50 gram donut or ball and there are only 102 yards in this little ball of yarn now I don't know if this has a colorway Yes, this colorway is taupe, and I love that. I'm not really a neutral color person, but I do like that a lot. And I bought two of this color. And this is made in Turkey, and it recommends a 55 millimeter crochet hook or 5 millimeter knitting needles, and it is considered a four-weight yarn. So I bought two in the color taupe, and then I bought two in this really... It's like a pinkish coral color. I can't explain it, but it's really, really soft and pretty. And let me see if there's a color. It's just called pink, but to me it's like a pinkish coral. So I bought two of those, and then I bought three in this colorway. 
and let me see what this one is called. This is called Red Light. It says Red LT, so I don't know if it's that red light or I don't know what it, that LT stands for. But I bought three of these, and I think I am going to make a shawl, like a fade shawl with, three, with all three of these colors. So I was thinking maybe of starting with the... I'm not sure if I should start with the taupe and then go to the pink and then go to the red light color because this one does have a little bit of the pink in it. If you open up the, let me show you the other one because it does have a little bit of the pink in there. I think these three colors would go very well together to make like a fade shawl. So I'm not sure what color I'm going to put first because I do have three of these and then two of the others. If anything, I can go buy um, one more of each of the other colors here to do like a fade shawl. So that is my plans for this yarn. Again, this is K and C Element. It is on sale at Joann's for $2.99. And um, I was able to use the five off 35 coupon uh, for these. And then I bought another kind of the KC Element yarn, and I thought this was beautiful too. So I bought four of these. This is k and C Bliss, and look at the colors in that. This is like a chainette or chain spun yarn. It's really light and airy, and it is soft, and I'm thinking about making a cardigan with this and pairing it, pairing it up with like a fuzzier yarn. Um, this colorway on this one is called Purple Turquoise, and there are pinks and purples, like to the darker purple to this dark hunter color or teal color. It's really, really pretty. I like that one a lot. And this one, again, is made in Turkey, and it is considered a three-weight yarn. And let me see if there's a color. Oh, I showed you the colorway, uh, purple turquoise. And it is 55% cotton, 34% anti-pilling acrylic, and 13% polyamide. So I bought, I think I bought four of these in this color. So there's three. And there's the fourth one. See the teal is on the inside of this one. It's on the inside. And then I bought four in this color, which I think if I do it right, the colors like would go well together. Um, if I do the cardigan correctly, this is pink white. That's the colorway on this one. Um, there are 195 yards per donut or per ball. And again, I'm thinking about making a cardigan. Um, they only had four of each color there. So I decided just to pick up this one and pick up this one, pair them together. And I think it will match. Um, cause this one has like some browns, the cream color, the coral color, and inside it's like a beige color so I think they will go well together um, maybe alternating balls and then like I said I'm gonna hold it with a fuzzier yarn and um, crochet a sweater so I will do a little swatch see how it looks if I like it I'll continue with it if I don't like it then I will frog it and do something else with it so that was my Joann's haul on Friday and as of right now, I'm trying not to buy any more yarn. Um, I said I didn't want to go to the uh, Hobby Lobby clearance this year, but I think I will because honestly, who can pass up a really good deal on yarn, especially clearance yarn? So moving on, I have some happy mail to share with you guys. Um, I received a couple emails the first email is from Judy, and I'm not going to say any last names. So Judy, you know who you are. She sent me an email because she has these lightweight cakes of yarn that she can't use because it was hard for her to use. So she asked if we can do a little swap. So I, I agreed. I said yes. And I sent her four weight yarn in exchange for these Cotton Kings. So this is Cotton Kings Twirls from Hobby. And she sent me five cakes. So I have two cakes in this color. It's like a rainbow color. And I don't know if there's a colorway name. The color number is 38, but it's a really pretty rainbow color from the red all the way to the purple here. And this is 100% cotton. Um, 
this yarn has the four separate strands that you hold together to um, crochet or knit with. And this is um, kind of like the Red Heart It's a Wrap Rainbow where there's four strands of yarn and you hold them together to uh, make a project. So I definitely enjoy working with these. With these cakes, I always make shawls with them and one cake can make a shawl. So I definitely like these cakes. And then she sent me one in this color. So this is um, like for the 4th of July. I can make a shawl for the 4th of July with this. It'll be beautiful. It won't be this year, but I can make something for next year with it. And then she sent me one in this color. And this is like a teal. It's like a teal color in the middle that fades out to like a really, really light teal. It looks white, but it's not. It's like a really, really light teal. Um, the color number on this one is color three. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I didn't tell you the color on this one, which is color number two. And then I have one more in this color that she sent. And I definitely like this one a lot. This one is color number, color number eight. And this is a, considered a fine number two, so a two weight yarn. And um, like I said, I always make shawls with these. So I will definitely be making shawls with these cakes of yarn. So thank you, Judy, for doing that little swap with me. I really do love these yarns and I enjoy them and I can't wait to work with them. Um, it might be a little while because I have so much, so many projects going on right now. So moving on to my other happy mailbox. So I also have uh, Rachel who emailed me. And like I said, I'm not going to say any last names, but I don't have sock blockers because I have been putting off knitting socks because I don't have sock blockers. She sent me a message um, on Instagram and wanted to know if I wanted some sock blockers that she has that she's not using. So I said, sure. So I wanted to do an exchange. So instead of her just sending me the sock blockers, I wanted to send her some sock yarn because socks, I guess, are her favorite things to knit. And so she sent me sock blockers. So I'm really happy. They look huge though, but I don't, I think it's a good size. They just look really big. I think once I put the sock on it, it should be fine. So I'm really happy about these. And, um, I've been looking on Amazon, on Etsy and sock blockers are really expensive. So I have been putting off buying a set of sock blockers, but I'm so happy that she contacted me and sent me the sock blockers. And then I sent her a beautiful Hank of yarn with a matching mini and then some stitch markers that I made. So hopefully she likes those. And then there's a little note in here, but I won't read that. And then in the box, this is the box that she sent. So she just didn't want to send the sock blockers in this big box without filling it. So she put in some fillers and can you guys guess what the fillers are? Of course it's yarn. So I was really surprised when I opened up the box to see how much yarn she put in here. But I am happy with everything that she put in here and there are some things that are new to me so I can't wait to see um, what to make with them. So let me go ahead and go over quickly what was in the box. So she sent me two of these, the Yarn Bee Pigment and Fiber in the colorway Coconut Grove. So I won't go over the specs or anything with you guys, but I love this yarn. The yarn is really soft and I just love the colors that are in here. And you don't have to worry about what colors to match with what because these all match. So I really like that. I'm not sure what to do with these yet, but um, I do like these colors. And then she sent a skein of Premier Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree and I have plenty of these that I haven't worked with yet and so that will go in my collection of all the um, Premier Just Yarn. And then she sent, ooh, this is something that I've never worked with before. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Regia? Regia or Regia? Um, this is Plus Cotton. So there's a sticker on there. But this is 25% polyamide, 37% cotton, and 38% new wool. And it is made in Italy. Let's see. I think this is a sock yarn. I think she's in trying to encourage me to make socks because I have been putting it off. Um, I think that's all I can tell you about this. 
There's 450 meters in this 100 gram ball of yarn. It's a pretty um, like heather navy color. I like it. So I really like this yarn. This is something new to me. I've never worked with this. So I will definitely, definitely knit socks with this one. And then I have a couple of skeins of the Lion Brand yarn, ZZ Twist. Now I have some in my collection, not this color, I think in a coral color, but this one is taupe. And this is um, clearance out at Hobby Lobby, I think last year. I got two of the taupe and then one in white. I will definitely put this to good use. I actually wanted to crochet my daughter Madison a cardigan with this or a sweater. So I will see if any of the other colors I have match and then I'll make her a cardigan with that. And then she sent this Burnett, um, I don't know what it's called. I don't know if I can say that word. Can you guys say that word? But this is from Burnett. And I think this is a chain, like a chainette or chain spun yarn. Can you guys see that? It is made in Brazil. Let's see, it says hand wash separately in cold water with mild soap dry flat, 110 yards, 100% cotton. So I don't, you know what? I think I'm gonna make a couple coasters with this. I think that's what I'll do because there's only one skein so I will make a couple of coasters and it doesn't say what size yarn this is but I would consider this maybe like a sport weight or a light DK weight so I definitely like that I like the color and then the last thing in the box is I'm not sure how to say that either so that is this yarn now I've never worked with this yarn before. I think you can buy this at Hobby Lobby as well. Um, this is in the color Rosa and this is sport weight. It says 100% mercerized cotton. So very beautiful color, um, 100 grams, 218 yards. And this one is made in Mexico. So really beautiful, really soft. I do like that. And then, so I lied, there's one last thing. So in this little, purple pouch so I got I don't know what this is is this a row counter I think this might be a row counter so I have to figure out how to use it if it is um, if it isn't it might be a bracelet so I don't know Rachel if you are watching this leave a comment and let me know what this is I think it is a row counter and I can always use more row counters. So I am happy. So thank you so much, Judy and Rachel. I really do appreciate that. And, oh, I lied. There was one more thing. I'm losing it today, guys. So this was the last thing in the box for real this time. Um, this is like a tape yarn. And I don't know what to make with this. If you guys know what I can make with this, let me know. Um, it's really soft though, I do like it. I like the color. This is uh, Lana Grossa um, Lucido, if that's how you pronounce it. Really soft blue and white colors here. And this is, I think you can make garments with this. It's really soft, made in it Italy. 50 grams, 60% polyester, 40% cotton. So definitely you can make a garment, a shawl maybe. That might work. Um, let me see how many yards are in here. Color number 002. And did I say? A hundred and twenty meters, I believe. So a hundred and twenty meters per um, ball. So that can make a chalet maybe, or a scarf. So I might do that, like a fashion scarf. That would be cute. Or I think that's what I can make with it because it's really lightweight. So I do like that. That'll be interesting to work with. I can't wait to work with that. So thank you again, ladies. And then I have one more, which is actually, I guess you can consider it Happy Mail. It's actually some yarn that a friend from work gifted me. Um, so I have a friend, her name is Sandra, and she works the same shift I do, and she crochets. She doesn't knit, but she crochets, and she brought me, because I have gifted her um, a lot of Red Heart, 
she likes working with four weight yarn and red heart super savers so i gifted her most of my red heart super savers I think I gifted them all to her. I might have like one or two skeins left, but I gifted her a lot of those. So she sent me some yarn back, um, yarn that she knows she's not going to use. So I said I would take them. I'd be happy to take them. So she sent me a bag just full of some fun yarns. So the first thing in the bag is this, which I have never heard of before. Um, I don't know how to... Linny 12 clip trend collection that's what it says it says on line up top the colorway is turquoise for 12 this is originally $12.75 and I believe the person who bought this bought it from Woolen Company um, which is a yarn store in um, St. Charles Illinois and yep they even have the telephone number here so I have a total of three Okay, three, and this is the fourth hank here that they had balled up. So I will definitely cake this up, and I think I'm going to make either a shawl or maybe a sweater or a cardigan if there's enough yardage. But this is 100 grams, 100%, um, I think it's 100% mercerized cotton because it's in a different language so I definitely can't tell you guys what that says I think it's in a different language I think it's a hundred percent either Egyptian cotton or 100 percent mercerized cotton I'm not sure um, let's see made in Croatia and I think that's all I can tell tell you guys about it 166 meters but it's really soft really soft I will definitely see if there's enough yardage to make either like a really lacy like summer top or cardigan or I don't know I think that should be enough I have four hanks of these so I do like the colors so that was the first yarn that she sent and then the second one she sent which is this like fur yarn um what is this this is yarn B and there's a label so this must be a really really old yarn I don't know I've never heard of this before it's called infatuation and it is yarn B there's a Hobby Lobby label that's covering the yarn B but look at the colors I do like that and there is the yarn so I really don't know what to make with this so if you guys have any ideas let me know it is really soft so it would make a beautiful scarf um, it would definitely be hard to crochet or knit with just because of all this fur hanging off of it. But I do like it. So this one says use a 6 millimeter um, knitting needles or 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. The color number is called Rattan, R-A-T-T-A-N. And it is made in Turkey, 100% nylon. And there are... 143 yards in this one so I have one of these and I have like a little ball of this and I don't think it's the same colorway because it does feel a little bit different I think this is a different colorway the same yarn maybe I'm not sure but it's a different colorway but um but this one is definitely softer than this one so this one might be a different yarn so I don't know what to do with that I can probably just ball it up and make a pom-pom probably that's probably what I'm gonna do to put on top of hats and then the last thing that she sent is also a yarn B yarn which I've never heard of and this is called Hollywood special effects in the colorway thriller so that is what that looks like and like I said I've never heard of this um, I don't even know when they had this yarn, when this yarn was made, but this is considered a bulky number five, recommends an eight millimeter crochet hook, and what else, 90% polyamide, 77% acrylic, 3% wool, 139 yards, and it's made in Turkey, and three ounces, and that's about all I can tell you. But let's take a look at the yarn because I have two balls. One does not have a ball band. So whoever, I don't know if Sandra bought this or she received it from somebody else. But whoever gave her this yarn or I don't know when she bought it, but it is definitely different. I don't know what to call this style of yarn. Um, it's like a little ladder. 
but it looks cool i don't know what to do with it though do you guys have any ideas and look at this is like the latter part and then it comes to like this faux like chenille like this chenille part it is definitely different so there's like lots of different textures in here so i definitely don't know what to do with this it sounds like it looks like a fun yarn to work with so if you guys have any ideas um let me know i actually might pair this up with like a regular acrylic yarn and make a basket that sounds like a good idea so I will put those back in the bag, and I'm really happy um, she sent me that, or she gifted that to me, so thank you, Sandra. I don't know when you'll see this, but thank you so much, ladies, for sending me the Happy Mail. All right, so before we get started, I have the Knit Crate Challenge to talk about. Before we get started with the Knit Crate Challenge, I do want to talk about the um, Asgard Shawl that Reggie from J Hook Crochet designed. So if you guys are still hanging in there, you might want to stick around for this part. So I was a tester for Reggie. She asked me to test this pattern and this is the Asgard shawl. So I can't show you the whole shawl in all its glory because it's there's just not enough room in here. But there is a shawl and I used um Hobium. I bought yarn art flowers from Hobium and that's the cake of yarn that I used to make this shawl and I love the pattern it's super simple and because I tested the shawl pattern for her she is actually um, letting me give away one copy of the pattern to one of you guys so if you guys are still here at this time go ahead and leave a comment any comment that you want in the comment section below and next Saturday or the Saturday coming up I will choose one winner to win a copy or a PDF of that pattern and uh, once whoever the winner is once I pick the winner I will email you and I will send your email address to Reggie so she can then email you the PDF for the pattern for this shawl so thank you so much Reggie for offering a pattern um, as a giveaway and you guys will definitely like this pattern it is simple and the shawl is gorgeous so great job Reggie I really did enjoy making that pattern um, it was a little complicated at first because I was reading the pattern wrong but once you get going like you can remember each row it's simple so you guys will definitely enjoy that and go check out her Etsy shop and I will link it down below um, she will have 10% off um, her whatever's in her Etsy shop so go take a look and I think there's a code that you have to put in but if there's a code I will put that down below as well and go check out her channel and do me a favor and just subscribe to her channel so thank you Reggie again I love this shawl so if you guys are interested in this shawl um, leave a comment down below and then just make sure you put the word Asgard shawl in your comment and then you will be entered for the giveaway to win a copy of this pattern so that was the Asgard shawl so now on to my knit crate challenge um, I finished the shawl that I wanted to make uh, for the knit crate challenge and this is called the Thomas shawl it's t-o-m-a-s and I will link that video down below it's a video tutorial that I followed so I will link it down below but this is my Thomas shawl and the yarn I used for this is um, from knit crate is called the Yuru yarn um, I believe it's a hundred percent cotton a hundred percent organic Pima cotton in the colorway hustle and I love this yarn it's super soft and it's really nice to work with now I did not block this but the color that pink color is the knit crate yarn now this glittery black color is actually I can't remember the name of the yarn and I forgot to grab the ball band but I only used maybe like 10 to 20 yards I don't know I didn't use much of that glitter yarn but it is yarn that I bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby um, last year and I I can't remember hold on one second you guys let me go get the yarn and I will let you know what it's called all right the yarn that I use as the accent color um, on this shawl is yarn B glint of glam 
and this was on clearance last year for a dollar 37 and I bought two of this black color and then there's two of like a maroon color with the same glitter in it so I thought adding that yarn to this shawl would be beautiful and I love it I love the way it turned out I could have made more rows with the black but I just thought this would be perfect and I love the size of this shawl. It could be a lot bigger, but this is the perfect size um, just for a little shawlette to wrap around your neck. So I think it turned out great. It's an asymmetrical shawl. So if you guys want to check out that tutorial, go ahead and do so. It's a really simple, fun shawl to crochet up. And then I didn't block it, so you guys can't really see like the edging on the bottom because it's curling up. But there are... Let me see if I can show you. But... You see the edge on the bottom there? It's really, it's a really fun shawl to crochet up. So I do recommend this. It's a pretty pattern. Um, I use this 100% cotton yarn and it's really soft and it's really drapey. So I like that. So that is my finished object for the Knit Crate Challenge. Now I don't have anything planned for the next challenge, for the next Knit Crate. Um, so I will let you guys know when I come up with something. Now I do have other finished objects, but that was for Mother's Day. I made four placemats and four matching coasters for my husband's grandmother for Mother's Day. And then we also bought her a potted plant. So she loved the coaster. She said she needed them. And then she loved um, the coasters as well. Now the placemats, I it was like my own design. I just basically chained, I think it was 33. I chained 33. And what I did was just the um, herringbone half double crochet back and forth until um, I was finished using that ball of yarn. Now the yarn I use for the placemat is Premier Home Cotton. And the colorway Coral Splash. And then the other colorway I think is called, let me see, is called Fruity Speckles. So I used two, two different colorways. And then when I was done making the square panel for the placemat, I did um, crochet a border. I think I did a V-stitch border, only one round, and then in white, and that finished off the placemats. And then for the coasters, I used, I followed a tutorial by Designs by Finessa. I will link that down below. And it's a cute little coaster, uh, coaster pattern that matched that I thought matched the uh, placemats. So that's what I did for uh, my husband's grandmother for Mother's Day, and she really liked that. And you know what? I forgot to take a picture of it, so I can't show you guys what they look like, but um, they turned out really great. So I might go ahead and make some of those coasters for myself for here around the house, and I might make a couple of those placemats again uh, for the kids. Um, they really do like placemats. So that was... Um, all my finished objects and then let's talk about loom knitting because I think in my last video I showed you guys the loom that I bought from Michaels that was on clearance for five dollars and I actually started a project so I started looming loom knitting this scarf which I think I'm gonna call done because I only have this much left of the yarn so I used two balls of this yarn so right now it's a really long scarf and you can definitely wrap it around your neck a couple times. So I like the way it turned out. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And the yarn that I used for this project is the Premier Serenity Chunky. And the color on this one is called Treasure. Now I use, I had three balls of this yarn. And I used two for the scarf. And I think it's as long as I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a ha matching hat with this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna knit one or crochet one. I think I might knit one just so it'll match this knitted scarf, but I'm gonna knit a hat to match this scarf. So I actually did not measure this scarf, but I think it's long enough. You can wrap it around your neck and it's gonna be a beautiful scarf. So look at how much that stretches. I love it. Um, loom knitting is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm actually going to finish this off and bind off and then add two pom-poms to the end of the scarf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cinch up this end with this long tail that I left and then I'm going to add a pom-pom to the end of each side and then the scarf will be done. So I will finish that off today and then I will show you the finished uh, project next week and then hopefully by next week I can have the matching hat finished as well so 
check out loom knitting it's actually not bad and it works out really quickly and I do like it it's not my favorite but I will definitely make another scarf in the future um, probably in, in a couple weeks or so so I do like that I just have to learn different cast ons like cast on stitches I think and different um, stitches to loom knit and let's talk about some whips that I'm working on that Marlowe throw that I showed you guys months ago I'm still working on that um, I should probably just finish it off but I just don't have the motivation to do so um, it's almost done and then my retro rainbow blanket I have two cakes of the lime brand cupcakes left and then I think I'm gonna finish off that blanket it might not be as long as I want but I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off because right now it's so big it's really hard to turn once I finish crocheting a row I have to just it's just so hard to turn because it's so big right now and then since I got sock blockers sent to me I started a sock I don't want to say a pair I just started one sock for right now so I showed you the other sock I started before and I have it right here um, this one is using the premier yarns cotton collage so once I got to the heel part of it I totally messed it up so I frogged it or I didn't frog it I just took it off the needles um, so I will see if I can try to fix this if not I will just frog it and um, try again or use this yarn for something else because I really didn't like the way this yarn knit up um, I'm not sure I really didn't like that but anyways I have this here but I did start a new sock and this is using um, Patton's Croy sock yarn and I don't know oh I do have the ball band this is yarn that I bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year for $1.99 and the color is singing the blue stripes and what is this considered a super fine number one it's four ply 75 percent washable wool and 25 percent nylon so obviously croy sock yarn is perfect for socks and what else 50 grams i don't see a yardage on here but maybe i am 166 yards so i think two or one ball or one skein of this can make two socks I'm pretty sure but I am on the 10 20 30 like the 36 row and it calls for um, knitting 59 rows um, of the leg of the sock and I am following a tutorial by the crazy sock lady on how to knit socks on nine inch circular so that's what I'm using a 2.25 millimeter nine inch circular to knit the sock and I think I'm not going to do like the whole 59 rows for the leg um, I want to make shorty socks so I think I'm I might stop it at like 39 rows and then start whatever the next step is is probably the heel so I think I might do that but I had to order um, double pointed needles because I don't have any 2.25 millimeter double pointed needles so I actually ordered a set of knitters pride um, I think they're called knitters pride zings on Amazon and I will show you that when it comes in it should be here by Thursday and maybe that weekend when I film I will show you guys the double pointed needles and hopefully I can maybe finish this one sock and start the second sock but so far I like the way it turned out um, I might keep this for myself because my husband will not were knitted socks so I will definitely have to keep that for myself so that is my um, other work in progress and I am really really trying hard not to start anything new because I have so many whips right now that are just sitting there that I haven't touched in a while so I do want to finish up that Marlo blanket the retro rainbow blanket and hopefully this socks before I start anything new because there are a couple of cardigans that I want to start my calliope sweater that I wanted to start weeks ago I still haven't wound up the hanks of yarn to balls yet um, there's a crimson cardigan by I think the channel name is yay for yarn um, I really want to start that cardigan it's a crochet cardigan um, it's something I can work up real quick but I have so many projects going on I really don't want to start that one yet and then again hats for hat not hate I really want to start making those um, but I do want to finish some of these blankets first so I will try to knock out both these blankets and then then I will start a couple of those cardigans and maybe some hats for hat not hate so 
um, before I let you guys go, I wanted to give you a little bit of a health update. Um, so I do have Hashimoto's disease. The uh, doctor did confirm it. And I have to go see a specialist, the endocrinologist, on June 25th. So I know it's another like month away, but that's the soonest I can get in to see the endocrinologist. So I have that appointment. And then I also have an appointment for my right foot because I have a heel spur on my right foot which, you know, when I'm working, I can work anywhere between like eight to 12 hours a day. And then by the end of the day, my foot is killing me. So I have an appointment to get that checked out. I did get an x-ray, I think like three or four months ago, and they did confirm there's a heel spur there. So we'll see what the um, podiatrist says. I might need to have surgery on my right foot, but but we'll see. I think the surgery will definitely help it not hurt as much because right now I can't stand taking uh, pain medication every day because it is killing me. I do ice it um, at least 30 minutes a day every day just to help it, but um, it's not helping as much as it should, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to end it right there. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today, for watching, liking, subscribing. Don't forget to enter for the um, giveaway for the Asgard shawl. Just make sure you put the word Asgard shawl in your comment and then you will automatically be entered. And I will pick a winner for that next Saturday. So be on the lookout for, um, I'm sorry, I keep shaking the table with the tripod on it. Uh, so check out for that, watch out for that video. I will definitely film that um, next Saturday. Hopefully nothing happens around here that I will have time to film it. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So I will see you next time. So have a great rest of your day. And I will definitely be going to work tomorrow because the kids will be at school. So I will see you guys next week. So stay safe, stay sane, and keep crafting. Bye.